Hello again, loves. Rebecca here, and welcome to the Erica Rose May Online Crop. This is a mixed media and cut file challenge for today. So, um, I am a member of the Erica Rose Creates Design Team, and I'm going to be using one of Erica's fun cut files and a um, kit that I have from her, which had like instructions and, and everything, but I'm going to use portions of it. So, um, we have all kinds of fun stuff. Um, and then things that I added in. So the kit came with the L Studio Happy Days die cut. So all kinds of fun little wordy bits. Then we have this very cute little sun and all kinds of fun stuff there. And then some Scrap and Happy Studio uh, epoxy flare. It also came with the L Studio Everyday Label Puffy Stickers and the L Studio uh, Star Puffy Stickers. And then we have the Fun of the Sun... Um, six by eight paper pad there. I've got a cloud cut file. I just have white cardstock and then from my stash I'm pulling in a very bright limey green um, Echo Park paper. It is a birthday wishes one. We're going to be uh, scrubbing two photos of my son's 21st birthday. This was, we took him to Vegas for his 21st birthday and this was one of the nights we were walking around. I do have the inserts to the clouds as well, which I will save those and maybe use them on a different layout. And I've brought in some Spiegel Mom scraps um, sequins because I would like to make some shaker pockets out of these. So I have Ice Castle and Glacier Summit to do some blue because I thought those blues would mix well together. And then I have Rustacy, but I wanted to bring in the orange because, well, you know, the lights and be fun. Um, we have got some shimmers, spritz, in sapphire. I have a shimmers in a Pumi Closer. Yeah, closer. I have a Nuvo in, it's a crystal drop gloss blue babe. And then I have some stickles glitter gel in Aquarius. So we're going to have some fun. All right, so what I want to do... Is move in. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna cut this guy down to 12 by 12. So we're gonna cut the branding strip off and we're gonna get it because um, I just want to use that as a border. And then we're just gonna cut our white cardstock, which is just close to my heart cardstock, you guys. It was my favorite cardstock. I now have to have my new favorite cardstock. So if you guys have a um, white cardstock, a smooth white cardstock, right, that you are a fan of, please let me know. All right. So to gut the paper, I've got to pull in my other trimmer. Oh, hit the camera on the table, everything. So I'm going to get this gutted. I'm going to go through here, find some papers. I'm going to back some of the cut files with some of these papers. And then we're going to come in and um, see what else we got. So give me just a minute to get all that done, and I'll be right back. All right. So I have just went, and I put the, where I want the shakers to be, or the cut file to be, and I just traced around the inside, okay? Then I wrote which ones were going to be shakers because my photos are going to sit like so. So we're going to make those two, these, these three into shakers. So I've got them getting the acetate on there. So the rest of them, we're going to do some mixed media on. So I'm going to put this to the side and I'm going to work on that. Um, and then I just traced some of those um, so that I can back the shakers. All right. So, we're just going to come in and do some fun little mixed media work, right? So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. So you do 1, 2, I'm just, in my head I have to make it work. You move this here, this here, this here, this here, and then like so. Alright, something. So what we want... is 
is a little palette knife. And as long as we go just a little bit outside, it'll be okay. Um, and by that, I mean like outside of the, the drawn lines because the cut file will cover that. So we're just going to take a little bitty bit and we're just going to come in and we're just going to start getting that moved around. Then I'll take a little bit more and you're really just going to start painting with the palette knife, right? You just don't want to have like a big gloppy mess. As long as it all gets nicely covered. So we're just going to do that. So just pick some of, pick a cut file that has a whole bunch of different openings that you can do some shakers and some mixed media and just really have fun, you guys. Like that's really the main thing is to have fun. And this stickles gel is, it's very jelly. So like, goos and gums. But if you see, just take your time, spread it out. I'm not doing thick layers, so it shouldn't take that long. And then I'm just going to keep spreading. So I get that one real thick glob there in the middle, and I'll just pull from that, right? And it's really just, you know, what you like. So if you want it to be a little thinner, a little thicker, use paste, gel, whatever. But just create a very fun background using this stuff. So all right, so I'm going to go ahead and finish this up and get it on in a few more places. And then we'll move to the next one, right? So it is going to be thicker in some areas than not. And that's, you know, that's perfectly all right. But see, that's really cute. And then when the cut file sits over it, um, you'll just see just a really fun little cloud. All right, so give me a minute to get the rest of that on there, and I'll be right back. All right, so I've got those two on there, and then I've got this Nouveau, and all I'm doing, and I'm probably going to try to pull in another mixed media. I'm just outlining it, right? And then we're just going in. So we're just using it like a little pencil, drawing all the way around and then I just come in while squeezing and applying now this is gonna take a minute to dry because this is a very thick layer which means I will let this sit for a little bit and I will come back to it later later um, and then we've got a couple more that we have to do with just two more so I'm gonna pull in another media median to just play with it but this is going to be a really fun textured background uh, in a different way to back cut files, right? So just a whole bunch of different ways that you can back cut files. We've got shakers and I might even actually just back two of them because we got two and two. So we've got two more that are going to be pretty well covered up, right? Because this is going right here, so that one's not even really going to show, which it's okay. So we're just going to go ahead and just paint with these. So I've just got a paintbrush somewhere, and we're going to start with the pull me a closer, and we're just going to mix it up. I'm just mixing, mixing, mixing. And then we're just going to come in and just, you know, just paint and get the shimmer all over there. So you guys know how to paint. You don't have to watch me do this. But isn't this just a really fun way to, you know, a different way to back cut files? Like I'm always looking for different ways 
to use the things that we love to scrap with, right? So I do hope you guys are having a fun um, crop weekend so far. I am actually uh, away uh, at a at a different doing something different this weekend. So I was unable to play, but I was lucky enough to be able to film this earlier for you guys. So I do hope that you join Erica and you sign up for the the crops that she hosts. They are a lot of fun. Um. So let's see, we've got, I want to do that one, then we'll do that one, then we'll do that one. All right, so I'm just trying to figure out, I don't really want them to be like right next to each other, but sometimes that's unavoidable. And once everything is on, you guys, you're not going to see those pencil marks. So I always try to outline first, because for the most part, the wet media is only going to go where it's wet. It's, it's not, it's very seldom like it's going to go into another area. You can force it, but as you see, it's just, it's not like bleeding out anywhere. So I'll just add more and more. All right. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to get this one painted on. You're not going to need to watch that either. That would be pretty darn boring to sit here and watch me do this. But I hope that you guys are enjoying all the challenges that the design team is curating and working with. We're trying to come up with some fun things for you guys to, to do this weekend. And if you get a chance to take one of Erica's classes, please do. I was lucky enough to be able to take them at She Loves Color last year. And she's also one of the main teachers this year. So I'm super excited um, to be able to hang out. All right, so give me a minute to finish this up, and I'm going to let it dry, and then we'll be back. All right, guys, so we've got that done. I've got a nice little cluster here and here. Oh, we got shakers. All right, anyway, we're going to finish it up with some of these stars, and I have chose to go with the yellows. So we're just going to go ahead and pop in the yellows in the little areas that we're creating. I gotta figure one more spot out. Right. We'll put this one there. And then we'll go right there. We've used those. But I am really loving this. So I do hope you are having fun with Erica's crop and using one of her fabulous cut files and playing with some mixed media and doing more mixed media than just one type because we've did several so we got we got one two three and then different of the shimmers so i really like this and i think it's really really cute and there's a lot of glare there so i apologize so do all the fun youtubey things like subscribe and don't forget to head on over to the facebook group and give eric some erica some love and i will see you guys later with another video bye